Tonight at 10, a former Lancaster police officer now wrapped up in a federal lawsuit nearly two years after he was forced to resign over accusations of harassment and racial discrimination. Queen City News first told you about Peter Beck in March of 2021 when several neighbors came forward alleging that Beck profiled them because of the race. Well, now a woman is suing because she says Beck's illegal actions put her in a jail cell. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for your news at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes. The South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks has been following the accusations for years. Shakira is joining us live here in the studio. Now, Shakira, you spoke exclusively with the woman's lawyer. What are they trying to accomplish by all of this? Well, Alicia, they really want justice and accountability. The plaintiff's lawyer says they want the decision makers who are responsible for putting Beck in that position of authority to do what they can to make it right. We need to make sure people are accountable for violating rights of regular people because there's a lot of adverse repercussions for regular people when they're arrested. They should not be arrested. Bailey law firm attorney Tyler Bailey is working to do just that. Weeks ago, he filed a federal lawsuit for Anashian Coffee, a Lancaster woman claiming a former police officer racially profiled her, ultimately leading to her August 2020 arrest. She's suing the city of Lancaster its police department, former officer Peter Beck, and former chief Scott Grant. The lawsuit alleges officer Beck entered her home without a warrant. We all have an expectation of privacy in our homes, so officers aren't allowed to just barge in our houses without any cause. Um, so if an officer comes to your door, we have a right to say, no, you can't come in unless there's a warrant. Well, there was no warrant for Ms. Coffey's house being searched. Her house was searched. She was arrested, charged with criminal uh, accusations that she was not guilty of committing. Queen City News first brought you this story in 2021. A 21 Lancaster neighbors went front and center at a city council meeting to tell leaders about how they felt they were being singled out by Beck. He was accused then of pulling over black drivers for minor infractions as an excuse to question them and search their cars. The neighbors had different accounts of interactions with the Lancaster officer. Some said he pulled them over multiple times with no ticket or citation, while others say he never pulled them over, but did verbally harass them. After neighbors asked the city to put a stop to it, the city offered Beck $60,000 to resign. However, with his resignation, Coffey's 2020 charges were never dropped. When you have criminal charges, it can really affect a lot on your life, your housing, you know, being able to get a new job, applying for jobs, and eventually through her own independent means, she found out around April, I believe, of 22, that her charges were officially off of the system, that they were not going to be prosecuting her further. Bailey says the lawsuit details the violation of Coffee's rights and the city's role in the hiring, training, and supervising of Officer Beck and Chief Grant. Now Coffee is pushing for justice, not only for herself, but for the rest of the city. This is a message for the city of Lancaster and surrounding communities that you know, regular people, when they're wrong, you know, there needs to be some accountability there. There needs to be some training for officers in the future so this doesn't happen again. So the city terminated Chief Scott Grant weeks after Beck's resignation. The Lancaster Police Department had an interim chief who eventually resigned weeks before the city hired its current chief. The department says they can't comment on active lawsuits, and the city did not respond to calls for comment. Alicia. Shakira, thank you so much for that.